Hold on to your seats because the robotics world just exploded with developments that'll make your head spin. We're talking about figure AI raising over $1 billion at a mind-bending $39 billion valuation, and they haven't even mass-produced their robots yet. But here's where it gets absolutely wild. Chinese robots are pulling off 720-degree spinning kicks mid-air. French engineers built an industrial powerhouse in just 40 days. And startups are creating emotionally intelligent machines that might actually understand your feelings better than your best friend. This isn't your typical tech update. We're witnessing the exact moment humanoid robotics crossed from science fiction into practical reality. These machines are learning to move like us, think like us, and now they're even trying to feel like us. Ready to dive into the most significant robotics week in human history? Figure just raised over $1 billion at a staggering $39 billion valuation. Let that sink in. This robotics company is worth more than most Fortune 500 companies, and they haven't even mass-produced their robots yet. The funding round was led by Parkway Venture Capital with heavyweight investors like Brookfield Asset Management, NVIDIA, Intel Capital, and Qualcomm Ventures, all throwing massive cash at this vision of humanoid workers. Why are investors going absolutely crazy for figure? Three reasons that should terrify and excite you in equal measure. First, they're scaling production through their bot Q facility to deploy robots in actual homes and businesses. Not labs, not demos. Real environments where real people live and work. Second, they're building next-generation GPU data centers specifically designed to train their AI platform called Helix. We're talking about computational power that dwarfs what most tech companies have access to. Third, and this is the mind-blowing part, they're launching the largest data collection effort in robotics history to capture human behavior at internet scale. But here's the crazy part. The very next day after announcing this billion-dollar raise, Figure dropped another bombshell. They partnered with Brookfield Asset Management, a company that manages over $1 trillion in assets and owns more than 100,000 residential units worldwide. This isn't just a partnership. This is Figure getting access to the largest real-world training ground for robots in human history. Think about what this means. Brookfield's properties become living laboratories where cameras capture every human movement, every interaction, every mundane task that makes up daily life. Figure is creating what they call the world's largest humanoid pre-training dataset. While ChatGPT learned from text on the internet, Figure's robots are learning from watching actual humans navigate actual spaces, open actual doors, climb actual stairs, and handle actual objects. The partnership gives Figure something no other robotics company has ever had unlimited access to diverse, real-world environments where they can test their robots without the artificial constraints of laboratories. Brookfield gets to be first in line for robot deployments that could revolutionize property management, maintenance, and security. It's a symbiotic relationship that could accelerate robot development by decades. Project Go Big represents the most ambitious robotics training program ever attempted. Figure discovered something that seems obvious in hindsight, but revolutionary in practice. Large language models like GPT learned from billions of text documents on the internet. But robots had no equivalent dataset for physical actions and movements. Project Go Big aims to create that missing piece. Here's where it gets absolutely wild. Figures Helix A. I has achieved something called zero-shot transfer from human video to robot control. Translation? The robot watches videos of humans walking through Brookfield homes and instantly learns how to navigate those same spaces without any robot-specific training. Show Helix a first-person video of someone walking to the refrigerator, and the robot figures out how to do the same thing in the real world. This isn't programmed behavior. This is genuine learning from observation. The robot sees a human navigate around a chair, and it understands spatial relationships, obstacle avoidance, and goal-oriented movement. It's like teaching a child by having them watch other people, except this child has perfect memory and can process thousands of examples simultaneously. Figure claims this is the first time a humanoid robot has learned end-to-end -end from vision and language to motion control using only human demonstration data. But while American companies are throwing billions at the problem, Chinese robotics firms are taking a completely different approach. Speed and agility over massive funding rounds. Unitree's G1 robot just demonstrated movements that would make parkour athletes jealous. 
We're talking about smooth human-like walking at speeds up to two meters per second, dynamic running steps, precision turns, and acrobatic moves that defy belief. The G1 recently performed a 720-degree spinning kick mid-air and stuck the landing with perfect balance. Not a stumble, not a correction, perfect execution that would impress martial arts masters. Another video showed the robot executing a gymnastic kip-up from the ground, demonstrating core strength and coordination that rivals human athletes. These aren't party tricks. These are proof-of-concept demonstrations that the hardware and software have reached a level of sophistication that seemed impossible just two years ago. Here's what makes the G1 special. Unitree updates the robot's software monthly, sometimes more frequently. Each update improves footstep stability, reaction time, and joint control. The robot is literally getting better at being human every few weeks. Engineers report that the G1 has become the go-to platform for testing AI control algorithms because it can learn new skills rapidly in simulation and transfer them to real-world movement without the lengthy calibration periods that plague other systems. But here's the crazy part. A research team at SUSTECH decided to see just how tough these robots really are. Professor He Kong's team subjected a Unitree G1 to what they called a humanoid violence test. Researchers shoved the robot, struck it with considerable force, and even performed a flying dropkick directly into its chest. The robot remained standing through almost every assault. In the most dramatic moment, a human researcher charged at full speed and dropkicked the robot center mass. The G1 staggered but recovered its balance within seconds. The only thing that managed to knock it down was slipping on a loose floor tile, and even then, the robot rebounded to its feet in under one second. This level of dynamic balance and recovery would be impressive for a human, let alone a machine. The violence test reveals something profound about modern robotics. These machines are developing what can only be described as physical resilience. The advanced algorithms, including reinforcement learning policies, allow the robot to respond to sudden impacts by instantly shifting weight distribution and taking corrective steps its reactive balance at superhuman speeds. While Chinese companies focus on athletic prowess, French robotics firm Wandercraft took a completely different approach with their Calvin 40 robot. Built in just 40 days using 12 years of experience in bipedal walking technology, Calvin 40 represents the industrial strength approach to humanoid development. No face, no fancy aesthetics, just pure functionality designed for the most demanding physical jobs. Calvin 40 stands at adult human height, but prioritizes strength and endurance over appearance. The robot uses voice commands and advanced vision systems powered by large language models to understand instructions and navigate industrial environments. What makes it special is the integration of Wandercraft's medical-grade exoskeleton technology, giving the robot human-level strength with machine-level consistency. The robot can lift heavy objects, work in awkward positions, and perform repetitive tasks that would cause injury or fatigue in human workers. Wandercraft partnered with automotive giant Renault Group, and Calvin 40 will soon be tested on actual assembly lines. The goal is to handle ergonomically challenging tasks that put human workers at risk for injury while maintaining the flexibility and problem-solving capabilities that automated systems typically lack. But here's where things get really interesting. While everyone focuses on the robot bodies, the hands might be the most important breakthrough. Wuji Tech just unveiled the Wuji Hand, a five-fingered robotic hand with 20 active degrees of freedom that weighs under 600 grams, but can exert up to 15 newtons of force per fingertip and hold a 10-kilogram object in static grasp. The technical specifications are staggering. Four independently actuated joints per finger, mimicking the range of motion of human hands high-speed sensing and control with feedback loops up to 1,000 hertz, meaning the hand can react to touch and pressure changes in real time. Multiple communication interfaces, including USB, RS-485, and EtherCAT for integration with various robot control systems. Most impressively, the hand is tested for over 1 million open-close cycles with a guarantee of 300,000 cycles without failure. This level of dexterity and durability could be the missing piece that transforms humanoid robots from impressive demonstrations into practical workers. Think about how much of human work involves fine manipulation. Assembly, 
inspection, repair, cooking, cleaning. All of these require the kind of precise, adaptable grip that the Wuji hand promises to deliver. But here's the crazy part. One startup is tackling the problem that everyone else ignores. While companies focus on making robots stronger, faster, and more capable, a head form is working on making robots that humans actually want to be around. Founded by Columbia University PhD, Hu Yuhang, a head form secured two funding rounds in three months by focusing on emotional connection and empathy in humanoid robots. Their approach is revolutionary. Instead of avoiding the uncanny valley, they're trying to bridge it with genuine emotional intelligence. A head form's robots train themselves in facial expressions through what they call mirror self-perception. The robot uses cameras as eyes and practices different expressions while watching itself, refining each smile, frown, and gesture until it achieves fluid, natural-looking emotions. Their emotional foundation model processes voice tone, facial cues, language, and context to give robots a form of emotional intelligence. The robot can see a person's face, hear their voice, and infer happiness, sadness, frustration, or excitement, then respond with appropriate empathetic reactions. This goes far beyond chatbot responses by anchoring emotional understanding in physical gestures and facial expressions. The hardware is equally impressive. A head form developed a bionic face with over 30 degrees of freedom in facial movement, using flexible artificial muscles and specialized skin materials. The goal is crossing the uncanny valley by making expressions smooth and genuine enough that people feel comfortable, maybe even emotionally connected, to the robot. Their first product, called Emo, is a humanoid head and torso designed for customer service, entertainment, and brand experiences. Internal testing begins by the end of this year, focusing on how humans respond to sustained interaction with an emotionally intelligent robot. If successful, a head form might create the first robots that people genuinely enjoy spending time with, not just because they're useful, but because they provide emotional connection. While startups chase emotional intelligence, Agibot proved that sometimes the best way to showcase capability is pure spectacle. Their Linksy X2 robot just performed the first ever Webster backflip by a humanoid robot. A Webster is a one-legged front flip commonly seen in parkour, requiring asymmetric force generation and precise angular momentum control. The X2 robot, standing 1.3 meters tall, springs off its right leg, tucks midair, and lands on the same leg with remarkable stability. This isn't just showing off. The Webster flip demonstrates control systems that can handle rapid shifts in center of gravity with no support points, coordinate extremely fast and powerful motions, and execute precision landings on a single limb. Boston Dynamics famously taught their Atlas robot to do backflips using two-legged push-offs. Agibot's one-legged flip represents an even more sophisticated level of dynamic control. The actuators and algorithms must coordinate in real time to generate the exact force, timing, and body positioning needed for successful execution and landing. While researchers test robot durability, Cassie Vision introduced a completely different approach to robotics with their Cassie Vibot inspection robot. The robot features what Cassie Vision calls a hand-eye brain architecture. The eye component includes three cameras with multispectral vision capable of wide field scanning and micron level detail inspection. The hand consists of robotic arms with interchangeable grippers and tools, providing human-like flexibility for reaching and manipulating objects at various angles. The brain runs on Cassie Vision's proprietary AI platform called Hui Now, described as a vertical industry vision language model combined with a massive defect database. What makes Cassie Vibot revolutionary is its learning capability. Traditional automated inspection machines require months of custom programming for each new product. The cloud-based knowledge sharing system enables collective learning across robot fleets. When one Cassie Vibot learns to identify a new defect or develops an optimal inspection technique, that knowledge synchronizes to all other units through the cloud platform. This means an entire factory's inspection capability can improve simultaneously based on discoveries made by individual robots. But here's where things get wild. A UK startup called Humanoid claims to have built the fastest developed humanoid robot in history. Their HMND01 Alpha was constructed from scratch in just seven months, 
and they documented the entire process in a 22-minute behind-the-scenes documentary showing engineers in London, Boston, and Vancouver racing against impossible deadlines. The Alpha stands 220 centimeters tall, making it significantly taller than human workers to extend reach and carrying capacity. Instead of legs, the current version uses a wheeled base that allows movement at 7.2 kilometers per hour, faster than typical walking speed. The robot has 29 degrees of freedom excluding end effectors and can carry payloads up to 15 kilograms. Humanoid made deliberate design choices to avoid the uncanny valley while maintaining human-robot interaction comfort. The head is simplified without realistic eyes or facial features, and the robot wears fabric uniform covers that are lighter than metal panels and give it a friendly, worker-like appearance rather than a threatening machine aesthetic. The company follows a robots-as-a-service model backed by $50 million in founder-led funding and a team of veterans from Apple, Tesla, Google, and Boston Dynamics. They're already lining up pilot projects with real customers for the coming months, aiming to demonstrate practical value in solving labor shortages and automating dangerous or repetitive jobs. Even Turkey got into the robotics news this week by granting honorary citizenship to a humanoid robot named Festman during the Canic Fest Technology Festival in Samson. The robot received an official-looking identity card at the local population directorate, becoming the first robot registered in Turkey's civil registry. While largely symbolic, the gesture generated public interest and conversation about human-robot relationships and the future integration of artificial beings into society. But here's what all of these developments really mean when you step back and look at the bigger picture. We're witnessing the convergence of three massive technological trends that are about to reshape human civilization. Artificial intelligence that can learn from observation, robotics hardware that matches human physical capabilities, and manufacturing scales that can produce these machines at consumer prices. Figure's billion-dollar funding and Brookfield partnership creates the data infrastructure for robot learning at internet scale. Chinese companies like Unitree and Agibot are proving that robot hardware can match and exceed human physical performance in agility, balance, and recovery. Startups like AheadForm are solving the emotional intelligence problem that makes human-robot interaction comfortable and natural. Industrial applications from companies like Wondercraft and CassieVision demonstrate that robots are ready for real work environments where they can provide immediate value while learning and improving continuously. The diversity of approaches, from emotional intelligence to industrial strength to rapid development, suggests that multiple viable paths to practical humanoid robotics are emerging simultaneously. We're not looking at the gradual transition anymore. The combination of massive funding, breakthrough AI capabilities, proven hardware performance, and real-world deployment opportunities suggests that humanoid robots will move from expensive novelties to practical workers faster than most experts predicted. The question isn't whether humanoid robots will transform the workforce. The question is whether humans are preparing for a world where our physical capabilities are no longer our unique advantage. These machines are learning to move like us, think like us, and now some are even trying to understand our emotions better than we understand them ourselves. 